to make a habit of empathy, to recognize ourselves in each other. My name is Skip Robinson, and uh, I've been teaching at Sonoma State for years, and I just retired, and I also taught for a group called uh, the Conflict Resolution Institute. Um, and our job there was to uh, uh, teach and train people in how to resolve conflict here and in other countries. Ramdas uh, says, uh, at one level, when you put your hand in the fire, my hand is in the fire. It's like our relationship is so close that we overlap. We're actually one character. Um, and so uh, it was possible to go above the actualization of the self to the actualization of the transpersonal dimension of our being. So we really are close as family, uh, close as partners, uh, even identifying with each other. And you get into those feelings and you move right into empathy. You're getting to know the other person deeply. Uh, and empathy with enough grounding and enough experience can float right up into compassion. Uh, and when you get to compassion, there is a fundamental change that goes on in the resolution of the conflict. When, when one person comes to really understand the other person, the heart starts to open up. Um, and um, Thich Nhat Hanh uh, actually says that you can, you can do mediation in the simplest way by going to one of the parties and asking them, how have you been hurt? And for one party in the conflict to just describe how much they've been hurt and how, and what's happening with their families, what's happening with their organizations. And then take what you learn and go to the other party and tell them how these people hurt, their antagonists, how they hurt. And then ask the second group, how, how are you hurting, what's happened? And you learn from them and you go back to the first group and let them know. And uh, it's, a, a, it's a growing empathetic awareness so you come to appreciate the other uh, group rather than stereotyping them, rather than dehumanizing them, seeing them sort of as their family would see them. And then the, uh, His Holiness the Dalai Lama says, when you see that someone you care about is suffering, it's hard to bear it. It's so painful to you to see the other persons in a suffering mode. And that just leads, and if both sides of the equation, both parties uh, settle into this and have come into empathy and then have come into compassion. And I, I been doing conflict resolution for 40 years easy, it solves. It just, all of a sudden, it takes off the mediation process, conflict resolution process, and you just watch the people listening to each other, the people asking questions with each other, and starting to generate, well, I don't want you to hurt. What if we did this? What if we did that? Let's brainstorm together. And they start thinking through how they could both have what's most essential to them. But uh, to my uh, way of understanding and interpreting the conflict resolution that I've worked on and uh, those places where we worked in other countries in the world and how they work, it seems to me that there is just a human, not just a US human, but uh, a human response 
that leads to resolution when people care for each other. And so empathy and compassion to me is the essence of the conflict resolution process. Because not only can you solve the specific problems that are up, but it also tends to cause uh, uh, resolutions to last because they care for each other. And so I've written about this and the steps that one can take to, uh, uh, to come back from the polarization and to, wor to uh, working the way back to health.